Last weekend, we saw a picture which might go down in Manchester United history. United's new trinity. Now, the bar is extremely high. The best Lord Charlton trinity, which is a bronze statue outside the stadium, depicts our European Cup winners and our three Ballon d'Or winners that all played in the same side. Now, Garnacho, Menu, and Hoyland, three lads that are you know, starting on their Manchester United career, but three potential generational talents for the next decade. Now, some people are claiming they could be United's new trinity. <laughs> Listen, it was a great photograph, but that's a hell of a reach. You know, uh, do I think that's likely? Three Ballon d'Or winners that win the lot? No. But do I think that people should be getting giddy about those three footballers? Yes, I do. I think that's entirely valid to do. Um, and I am getting giddy about them myself, it must be said. Now, while they probably aren't going to be United's new trinity, or I think they might be United's new trinity, whether or not they're going to match what that trinity achieved is a different question altogether. But there is a big chance that this trio could and perhaps will be the core of this United team for the foreseeable future. It's been a while since we've seen the sort of output of young players coming through into the first team. We haven't really seen players this young performing this well for a long, long time. And that's not even it. You've still got Forson, Kambwala, Ahmad if he gets a goal, Palestri potentially, as, as well as a lot more other players. You know, We did a, a Class of 2024 uh, video earlier this week. There is a lot of players. These lot might not be the end of the conveyor belt. There might be more which even eclipse what these guys do in the team. The Garnacho goal that sparked what could be a very iconic all-time Manchester United celebration, hopefully in hindsight of three excellent Manchester United careers, it must be said. Between the three of them, they have made 109 total first-team appearances for Manchester United, and it's completely aligned with Manchester United's mantra of youth uh, and Ten Hag's faith in them is being repaid I think there is a mega high ceiling with Maynou with Hoyland and Garnacho and some of the other lads that are coming through there as well and potential can't be forced and it certainly isn't guaranteed but we have to do everything that we can to help them realize it it's a callback to United of old and back in 2004 you know United had just started we didn't realize it was a blip at the time but we just started a little bit of a blip we had a, a teenage Wayne Rooney, a teenage Cristiano Ronaldo. Um, Rooney was green, rough around the edges, number nine. He hadn't really developed his game out to be the sort of like you know, world-class playmaker that he went on to become. Ronaldo was very much seen as the one-trick pony yet to be revolutionised um, by Rennie Munstein, turning him into this output machine. And it reminded me of a conversation I had with Ben, a lot of do a podcast with. Um, there's an episode of that just dropped actually on Patreon if you want to check that out. It's the new home of the Thursday Club. I remember me and Ben used to work in a pizza shop. I'd just joined the army and he was still working at the pizza shop. And I remember we sat there one night. I think it was after Rooney's debut. Would make sense. And we chatted shit till the early hours of the morning looking at the future of Manchester United. And I remember talking about Wayne Rooney Cristiano Ronaldo, Wes Brown, might have been real in the mix at the time as well because he was like 23, maybe 24, I think. Maybe a touch older, but the point was you could see there was a future with the players that we had and they just needed to gel and mature. And I feel like there's a similar sort of thing with de these players at the moment. Kobe Manu, I think, could go on and do anything in the game. And I think Rasmus Hoyland is proving that he has got the capability to, to reach a very, very high ceiling. Now, do I think any of these are... I mean, look at who we're comparing them to. You're talking about Charlton Lauren Best, Rooney and Ronaldo. That's the ceiling. That is the, the bar, and that is the expectation of Manchester United players. But I tell you what, the, the start made by these three is every bit comparable to the start made by Ronaldo and, you know, okay, perhaps not Rooney with his very, very first game, but I'm talking oh, Rooney over his first season or so. You know, you could see he was a serious player, surrounded by serious players, but, you know, not a million miles away from the sort of performances we're seeing with 
Maynu and Hoyland and, and maybe to a lesser extent Ganacho. I think he still looks like he's he's very raw. But the similarities are there. You know, Rooney in his um first season, 43 games, 17 goals, five assists, age 19. Ronaldo in 04, 05. Obviously, we'd had him a couple of years at that point. 50 games, nine goals, nine assists, age 20. Wes Brown played 37 games for us that season. He was 25. He's a touch older than those guys. But when I look at what we're seeing now, Rasmus Hoyland, 28 appearances, 10 goals, 2 assists. Very similar sort of numbers to what Rooney was doing when you compare the uh, you know, the sort of minutes and stuff. And then Ganacho, 7 goals, 2 assists. You know, this again, this is a Ronaldo that was a year older. And he's you no, know, he's not too far behind him in terms of the goals. He's got 20 games less, but you know, he's he's getting there with it. Maynou, 16 appearances, two goals, two assists, 18 years of age. Like, from a statistical point of view, they're they're quite comparable in terms of what they're doing. And I think from the eye test, I think Hoyland and Maynou, especially, are doing things which are worthy of what those players achieved in their first seasons. I think that's very important, what they achieved in their first seasons. Now, what they went on to achieve, that's the next bit. That's the tricky part. But if you compare Rooney to Hoyland, I think Hoyland's freakishly on track to mirror, mirror or maybe even better what Rooney managed to pull in in his first United season. I think you can look at comparing what Ronaldo and Guy Nacho have done this season. There's a year difference in between them. There's a lot more first-team appearances for Cristiano Ronaldo by this time. But 50 games, 9 goals, 9 assists, you would be thinking that's not a good enough output from someone. You know, He's already at 7 goals, 2 assists, and he's played nearly 20 games less than him. You know, all right, Manu and Wes Brown, different positions, but I used Wes Brown as a, an illustrator of, you know, someone that came through the academy uh, rather than being bought through. Um, but there's a similar level of potential, and Wes Brown's also in there as a cautious tale as well. If it wasn't for the injuries, Wes Brown could have had a, a far better career than he did. Now, there's another reason I use Wes Brown. It isn't just because, oh, look what could have happened with injuries. From, you know, 2004, for the next four years, Wes Brown, Wayne Rooney, Cristiano Ronaldo all had a big part to play. Four years after, four years, United just started this blip. Four years later, champions of Europe. Wes Brown crossing the ball for Cristiano Ronaldo. I, you know, I, I chose him for a little bit of a reason here. It's less of a comparison since Wes Brown was already established by that point at United, but... You can see the similarities in breaking through at the age that he broke through. And of course, no one's expecting injuries. But you have to recognize that there's a chance Ganacho or Hoyland or Menu could end up not reaching their potential due to injuries. Or they could do what Cristiano Ronaldo did, be freakishly good at not getting injuries, work hard off the pitch, and become one of the most productive players of all time. You look at the other players moving in and around them as well, from Force and Kambuala. You know, you look at what was around that team at the time, players that didn't actually make it. Giuseppe Rossi, that didn't make it at United at least. Luke Steele. PK was part of the squad in 2004, didn't manage to come through. I think he did all right, I think it'd be safe to say. But it shows you that potential has to be cared for. You know, the expectation currently, right or wrong, is that Hoyland achieves what Rooney achieved. That Garnacho tries at least to follow the path of Cristiano Ronaldo. And Maynou, we haven't had a midfielder come through the academy in Maynou's position for a long time. Certainly not one with that sort of style. He's not Scholes. He's not Beckham. He's not Nicky Butt. He's Maynou. And again, Wes Brown is someone who's identified because... His overall United career is still incredibly successful. The guy got two European Cup winners medals. Ain't many in that crew. And injuries is what really derailed him. Now, we hope that all three of Hoyland, Ganacho, Menu go on and have fruitful, successful careers. And if they come close to what Wes Brown, Rooney and Cristiano Ronaldo achieved at Manchester United, we're in for a right ride in the next 10 years. But factually, careers like Wes Brown are the ones that you should learn the most from and prepare for the inevitabilities that exist within football. Wes genuinely had the potential to be 
generational world-class talent in English football, breaking through in the treble season where he played games and being a huge, huge player in some of Manchester United's history and some of the most historic games. And I've seen Wes Brown, Barcelona at home, Wes Brown put on a defensive performance that I don't think you can hold many up to. You know, he was versatile, he was intelligent, he was fucking hard. And if it wasn't for injuries, he would have had a serious football career, either at United or somewhere else, because that's how good he was. And it could be one of them that get, ends up with the same thing. And do you know what? How many players would take achieving what Wes Brown did, even if it meant receiving the injuries that Wes Brown did? Now, it could be one of them. It could be none of them. Not everything goes to plan in football. Hardly anything ever goes to plan in football. But let's hope this plan works out because I'm seeing mentality and I'm seeing potential with these lot. And the story almost writes itself. Garnacho, Menu, Hoyland. They are three players that you could quite conceivably see being the core of this Manchester United team's rebuild for the next decade. Now, could it go down like that? Definitely. Will it? Well, that's only for time to answer. But people are getting giddy. And I, and I, and I, don't, I don't want to pour cold water on it because I, I, can, I can remember myself 20 years ago. I was going to say 10 years ago, but it was, it was actually 20 years ago. Shit, I was 20 years old. Wow. 20 years ago, sitting there bullshitting with one of my mates. And I remember vividly the conversation saying, wow, what a future these lot are going to have. And I remember Rooney, I'm pretty sure it was right after his debut or within that time, Ronaldo. You knew there was something special in him. I don't think we ever saw quite what we got. But, you know, Wes Brown as well, because Wes Brown was a footballer. I think there's reasons to be giddy. Give us your thoughts. It's in a bit. Hey, thank you for watching the video. If you are new around these parts, then don't forget to subscribe. My channel is proudly supported by my community on Patreon. If you'd like to get a little bit of extra content, a Discord group, meetups, five-a-side games, weekly podcasts, behind the scenes, and even an occasional bit of transfer news as and when I get it, then for the price of a pint, you can show your appreciation for the content that we make and get some goodies for doing so as well. Check the link in the description or click the button right here. You'll also find all of my socials here too if you want to follow me on any of those platforms. Nice one.